Welcome traders to another in-depth tutorial all about TradingView's features. And today we are going to be covering what it means to sync your drawings within a layout, in this case, a multi chart layout. Now in our next video, which you can skip to if you prefer, because you're looking for that answer, we're going to be covering new drawings that will sync globally. So this video is about syncing drawings within your multi chart layout. The other video that we have connected to this, find a link in the description, go check out our YouTube profile, talks about syncing globally. This way you have two videos that cover two important topics if you ever get lost or need additional help. So the first thing we're going to want to understand is the multi-chart layout feature. You see our mouse here up at the top of the chart. We can go ahead and click this button to open up the multi-chart layout menu. From here, we can now select all of these different options. And of course, this, is, this will depend on your trading style or the screen you have or how many monitors you have. In this case, why don't we just do a simple two chart, multi chart layout. And let's have Tesla here. And in this case, let's do Tesla four hour chart. So this chart has Tesla on a four hour chart. And this chart is going to have Tesla on a weekly chart. So in some respects, in this example, we are doing multi time frame analysis. We are analyzing a short four hour time frame here and a longer weekly time frame here. So what we're going to do next is we're going to do new drawings will sync and layout. Now we click that and it's been activated and you can see here that the link is on. And if you hover your mouse over this feature, you can even see what it says. New drawings are replicated to all charts in the layout and shown when the same ticker is selected. So why don't we go ahead and take our brush tool. After all, it's one of the uh, more easy tools to use. And let's just go ahead and make a huge circle here. And let's finish the circle. Now, what do you notice? Well, what you're going to see here is we've drawn a circle on this four hour chart. Remember, multi time frame analysis. But because we have the feature new drawings will sync and layout selected, you can see that the circles also been drawn, but to scale on a weekly chart. So how fascinating is that? Not only will your drawings be completely synced when you have a multi chart layout open, but they will even be drawn to scale if you are showing different timeframes. Now you're probably starting to see just how powerful of a feature this is, especially for multi time frame analysis, because we really want to give you now a real research or trading example. First of all, we, we are showing extended hours trading on this chart. We have videos on that, of course. That's why you can see these shaded lines. Let's go ahead and just focus on regular hours so our charts look now quite similar, despite them being a four hour chart here on the left and a weekly chart here on the right. So you can set up this exact same layout just by watching this video, follow all the steps, rewind if you have to. But what we're going to do is we are going to say to ourselves, we want to find a trade in Tesla on the four hour chart. And maybe something you notice on the four hour chart is a possible support line building here. Maybe this low will act as support. And there's also a gap here. Maybe this gap will eventually fill. So why don't we go ahead and put two horizontal lines on the chart to mark those levels. So we are going to click to place a horizontal line at the gap fill here. Why don't we change the color and the line thickness? And of course, you'll notice that when we change the drawings on this chart, because it's synced, they'll change on this chart as well. And now let's go ahead and add another horizontal line, this time at this support level. And now what we're going to observe here is a possible trade. So the trade in this case might be quite literally as simple as entering the trade at the support line, maybe a stop loss if it breaks, and exiting the trade at the gap fill right here. So we just use the long short position tool to demonstrate that on the chart. And I'm gonna turn this on compact mode. And now what we've done is we've done a very short term time frame analysis of a possible trade. But watch this, everything we've just done has now carried over to the weekly chart can see here weekly. And now we can see what this trade looks like on a weekly chart as well. So as you know, things sometimes look different on 
different time frames. On this short-term time frame, this looks like a great trade. What's there to miss? But on the longer term time frame, you can see the story changes just a little bit more because this appears to be a rather quick looking trade, something where you can make rather fast money. Look at the movement. But on the long term time frame, look at the time that has to happen for these two events to happen. And more importantly, because it's set to a weekly, the gap is no longer there. And in addition, you can zoom out to even see if this level makes sense. So does this even make sense as a support level? It may look that way on the four hour chart, but how about the weekly? And when you observe it on the weekly, you notice that at no other point in history on this chart, going all the way back, now multiple years, has this level mattered at all except for this one time? So does it make sense to take a trade based on just this one wick here? And now you might want to do a little bit more research and analysis, and perhaps you want to adjust this level now to find something where there is additional support or use cases. Now, what you may have just observed is something fascinating. We, drew, we, we clicked our horizontal line and dragged it lower, and now you can see we've got this new wick here. And oftentimes these wicks might offer very interesting support levels because they show that buyers, right, push the candle back up. So we did drag the line down to that level to zoom out to see. And now we maybe have found something because we can even see there was an inflection point back here. There is a comment that sometimes resistance eventually turns into support. Back in 2020, there was significant resistance at this level. So someone was selling here over multiple months. Look how it couldn't break out. And when it did, it went right back down. So now you have an inflection point as well. So perhaps this level makes more sense. And we only discovered that based on this multi time frame analysis. Now we have our four hour chart. We can zoom out. And actually we're going to want to move now our trade entry down here our profit still at the gap. And now look what we've done for ourselves. Ourselves, We have demonstrated patience, created a brand new trade, and even made a risk reward that is far greater than our initial four hour analysis. So this is how you can utilize new drawings will sink in a layout to do multiple time frame analysis and other research. Now, keep in mind, it's really up to you and you can see here, I have Steph's multi-chart layout. As some of you know, my name's Steph. I do many educational videos here at TradingView. But the point being is that you can create your own specific layouts with these exact features. If you don't know how to use your chart layouts, we just recorded a video about mastering all of these options for you. And in addition, we also have the capability for you to sync your drawings across different layouts as we were showing earlier. So now you understand the power of this feature and we want to comment on a few other key things here. This is about new drawings that will sync in a layout. That means these drawings will only sync in the layout of your choice. They will not sync across any of your other chart layouts. So you can see here we have a long-term investing layout or in a medium-term investing layout. If we draw on Steph's multi-chart layout, those drawings will not sync there. But in a future video that we have linked below, if you turn on new drawings will sync globally, well, that means that not only will the drawings sync to Tesla, so let's just, um, let's just do another circle here. So not only will it sync on this chart layout, you can see here on the four hour and the weekly, but if we have Tesla opened up on any of our other layouts, this drawing will also sync there as well. Now, the key thing here is you want to really master which one means more to you and which one you want to use. In our next video, we will specifically cover new drawings will sync globally. So watch that if you're looking for tips about that. And one final thing that we'll mention in both videos, because this feature matters oftentimes to multi-chart layouts, you also want to understand your syncing options when you have the layout open. Because while this is your capability to sync drawings within the layout of your choice, don't forget that you can sync so much more within your multiple chart layouts as well. You can sync the symbol so that if you change the symbol in this chart, it always changes on this chart. 
You can sync the interval, the crosshair, time, and date range. We have a video as well that covers these in detail if you don't understand how they work. But for the point of this video, we have introduced you to the concept of syncing drawings within your multi-chart layouts. And when you have this tool on, no matter what multi-chart layout you have on, if you draw on a symbol, like Tesla, and have that same symbol open in the other window as well, that drawing will be instantly replicated. Now, we do have to make it rather clear because this question does come up. This only works if you have the same symbol open up on both screens. Some of you have probably been waiting for us to answer that, and now you just got your answer. Because if we change this symbol to Apple, let's do Apple, whoops, there's Apple. Let's delete all these drawings that we had in a previous tutorial. Well, what we have here is a chart of Apple still set to a weekly and a chart of Tesla on four hours. There is no reason why, if we drew on Tesla, why it would sync to Apple. So there'd just be no reason why. They're completely different charts, completely different prices, completely different price action. So that is not a capability. You always want to make sure that your symbols are the same. That is when the drawings will match up. Now, one cool tip though, if you are looking for it, is let's say, for example, you watch other instruments or asset classes. So we're watching the VIX, and maybe you just like to have two different chart layouts here. You like your weekly, and you like your four hour. Well, don't forget, we still have new drawings will sync in layout selected. And we're watching the VIX at the same time, which measures volatility in the S&P 500. Well, what's so cool about this is we can watch this on a weekly time frame, and we can still, for example, add some pretty important research or analysis that we think is necessary. Let's gap fill, and let's do support. And because we have our new drawings will sync and layout feature still selected, even though we have a different symbol here, the drawings are still being replicated as we need on this chart when we go right back to a weekly time frame. Check it out. We're gonna click auto. We still have our gap fill text here. We still have, now we have our support text here. So you can be confident that as long as you have this linking tool, selected and you can see that it is highlighted in blue because it's turned on that your drawings will sync across the same symbol in your multi-chart layout even if you end up changing the symbol of your choice so ladies and gentlemen without further ado that is your introduction and your explainer into this feature why it matters how to use it some tips, and also just to clarify a few other key questions you may have had about this tool. And now the next step is for you to open up your trading view chart like this, get a multi-chart layout of your choice open, make sure you have the new drawings will sync and layout selected, then open up the same symbol in both windows, or if you have multiple windows open, have both open, and start drawing, start adding your research, start doing your analysis, and watch what happens. You will start to master this tool in no time. So go ahead, traders, take this for a spin, and please, in the comments below, let us know what you think. Be sure to check out our help center for more. We have a ton of documentation there. You can also subscribe to us on YouTube for daily and weekly educational updates.